Yes, that's right, folks. We have a completely working, functional analog clock that times and sets for Minecraft. Yes, that's right, Bedrock Edition for the win. Hey there guys, Skippy here for Room Skippy 6 Gaming. Guys, coming to you with a cool, awesome, that's right guys, we are in the tutorial world at night. At night guys, we're never at night. That's right, we are in the world at night. That's because we are doing a super cool, super awesome working analog clock. As you can see, this clock is telling us that it's 9 p.m. at night. It will continuously go around 10 p.m., 11 p.m., 12 p.m., all the way around like a regular clock until it gets to the morning time, 6 a.m. This is crazy, crazy, crazy. If at any time you decide to sleep, what's gonna happen is... Look directly at the clock and you will see it setting itself up, going right back to 6 a.m. for it to start its entire cycle. Again, once it gets to 6 a.m. right here, bang, it's 6 a.m. It's that easy, it went to 7 a.m. AM. So now you're going to see basically timed with the Minecraft day that's 20 minutes long, indivisible amounts. It's going to spin around till it's 8 a.m., 9 a.m., all the way to 6 p.m. at night where it starts getting dark again, and then it's dark all night long. Guys, it will literally work like a real clock. I showed you the time lapse. I'm going to show you the time lapse again. Keep an eye out, guys. It literally keeps track of the time specifically. Watch this time lapse right here. And there you go. You can see it works perfectly. Guys, a real clock in Minecraft. So tiny. OMG. Guys, for this one here, let's go for 399 likes. If you are down with the cause, don't forget to hit me up below. Guys, Twitter, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Yes, this world is just covered in. There's pillagers shooting at me from up there. Oh my god, follow me on Twitter for stuff like that. Go. So, big shout out, guys. First things first, huge shout out to Jade. You might have heard the name Jade around here because uh, about three or four of these tutorials were Jade tutorials. She's done some awesome stuff. The rotating storage, the block swapper that's tiny. In fact, I feel like she, she did this too. This is her elevator lift. Look how awesome this is. It's a tiny little elevator lift. You go right down, you look around, and it actually automatically brings you back up at some point in time. And uh, yeah, it's gonna do that right now. And bang, we're back up. So, shout outs to Jade. Channel in the description below. Guys, go check her out. She has like 850 subs or 823 guys let's get her to 1k this should be able to get her to 1k guys very few people in minecraft have ever done this before and she did it smaller than anybody else could ever imagine that said this this tutorial is a little challenging i have to say it's a little bit challenging it doesn't have that many blocks but if you misplace one thing or do something a little bit odd it might throw you off so pay attention at the end because at the end i might have to do a little adjustment or two that will help you along if you don't get through this one here so uh, let's go ahead and tell you what you need guys for this build you're gonna need 13 redstone lamps uh, two daylight sensors two comparators eight terracotta blocks that are brown that's my poor attempt to make that look like a clock that matches uh, the redstone lamps two redstone repeaters two observers two hoppers three redstone torches one stone button uh, one half slab five sticky icky pistons five redstone blocks 11 redstone dust uh, one eight regular pistons and just uh, bring a stack of of you know building blocks I don't know if it's it might be more than this I doubt it is so yeah you'll feel good in addition to that guys it always resets and here is if you need to advance it one or something every time you press this button it will just advance it one two three more whatever time you want it to set to and then like I said if ever guys it's night no matter what time it is if it's nighttime and you sleep it's gonna always auto reset to 6 a.m. again. Therefore, meaning that it never breaks, all you gotta do is sleep at it and it will always go right back to 6 a.m. It seems to tick almost right away because this process takes a little bit of time, right? The process of it going to 6 a.m takes a little time so i guess if you sleep for longer it give or take a little bit right i mean it's a 20 minute day in minecraft so let's do this guys okay so let's start this build off it's gonna be super cool and easy let's go ahead and do this guy right here bang we're gonna cover the background here this is just my version of brown your version of brown can be a different version of brown it's up to you done done and done leave this guy like this look a little bit like a clock face we don't need him right here so let's start this guy we're gonna need sticky regular pistons not sticky, but sticky regular pistons. And we're gonna start this guy out by one and make sure we complete this. So we're gonna wanna have a piston tape that goes from 
right to left on this side here and you're going to see this is the first guy once he goes here we're going to want the blocks to hit here we're going to want them to go up one like this and we're going to want it to go down like this see what we got going here pretty good right back down here we're going to want the same exact thing but we want it to shoot this way right here make sure we don't mess up right this is going to be uh, complicated stuff and this guy right here and then we're gonna these are just placeholders bang so once we got these guys here look easy enough blocks are gonna go around in a circle that's how easy that is let's go ahead and grab some solid blocks here and let's grab some redstone blocks right here feels good looks good so what we want is for this to be entirely filled with solid blocks except for in front of three of the pistons so solid 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 and then on top of all the lamps right here easy enough guys right easy enough easy enough easy enough and then here here and here so all the pistons have nothing in front of them except for one so if we were to power this pushes it here pushes it here pushes it here you guys you guys get the gist of what's going on pretty much kind of like a, a basic piston tape i guess if there's a any way to kind of explain that like that and then let's go ahead and uh yeah let's keep going on this trail so uh what we want to do here is go ahead and grab one redstone block redstone block we're gonna put it here every time i've done this build i've messed up somehow and i've had to move this at the end but for now we're gonna put it here and that's gonna help us feel good about what's going on so what we're gonna do here now as well is put this guy here this guy here and this guy here go ahead and run our redstone up up and away to this guy here where we're gonna put a sticky icky piston facing forward like this feels good looks good let's go ahead and put this redstone dust right here so this guy's gonna have a redstone block on its face this redstone block on its face is gonna go out and when it goes out we want it to hit a block like this this guy's gonna have a redstone dust on it right bang hits this hits this so what we're gonna do at this point in time is we're gonna place a redstone block in a location but we have to remember to get rid of it because i'm going to tell you this is the second time i'm doing this tutorial and guess why it's because i left this block the first time so put it there just for now go ahead and grab this sticky icky piston right here face it down we're doing this just so we know where everything lines up into a redstone torch or into a redstone block into this guy here into a block into this guy here and yes so you can see we went a little bit uh, a little bit too far here but not really Basically, what we want is for when this is extended. So you're going to see right here, we're going to get rid of this. And we're going to put it at the bottom of this guy. Dang, dang, dong. There. Extended to a sticky, icky piston facing forward. And there you go. That's exactly what we're going to do. This guy's going to go here. It's going to go here. It's going to go here. And that's it. So make sure we get rid of this. Get rid of this, guys. Oh, my gosh. I literally am doing this tutorial for round two because of that error and uh, you don't want to do that that's no fun so let's go ahead and put a solid block right here we're going to put a daylight sensor on this guy as well let's go grab our daylight sensors daylight sensor right here redstone dust in the middle sounds good looks good let's go ahead and grab a oh so let's before we do this don't be silly skippy put a redstone repeater facing out like that now let's put this solid block here with a daylight sensor there okay so let's start going um let's keep this train going and what we're going to do first is let's grab this block right here so now let's head up here we're gonna go ahead and uh, do a little bit of stuff on the top we're gonna do that by doing this block right there once this block is right here let's go ahead and put another block so what we want on this one here is for there to be I think we could do this actually let's go right there sticky piston right under this block yep get rid of this guy right here we're gonna need some observer blocks now take this guy and let's put him here perfect so we want an observer facing up under that guy in addition to this we actually want another one uh, we're gonna want it right over here so up up bang so two observers facing up one is going to be right there nope but you want to make sure it faces up guys it has to be facing up up wow skip come on so let's just go ahead and attach it facing up like this that's the easy way bang this guy's gonna go here we want this to be a thing and then what we want to do is actually go ahead and throw another observer facing up so you know what i don't care there you go Bing, bang, and boom. So uh, this looks good, feels good. I think pretty much we can kind of step back a little bit, feel good about it. We just gotta basically uh, put a 
daylight sensor right here. So I feel like this is where I constantly go wrong. I, I feel like I constantly go wrong because I generally end up pressing this and it messes up. So we're going to mess with this after leave it like this for now. Do not mess with this. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and make our uh, timer. So basically there's an old fashioned you can see in here, guys, you can see right in here that there is an old school clock an old school hopper clock i guess you could call that an old school hopper clock yeah so let's start it underneath this redstone repeater right here and or underneath this observer bang so we're going to start it here we're going to want it to go one two just like this so this happened to me last time too let's do this uh actually there we'll put this guy here so then bang right here so you can see we got a space of two between the two but we want one over so get rid of this guy this guy and this guy so this is going to be where the hopper clock is. Let's go down here and let's grab some solid blocks. One, two, three on each side. One, two, three on each side. We're going to put just a few out so we can stand on them. Uh, and we're going to grab our hoppers, which are the next in line for the fun. Throw one hopper into this thing. Crouch place. Hopper right there. Let's go to the other side. Switch sides. Crouch down. Hopper into hopper. Great. Throw yourself a... Redstone block right there. Easy enough. Almost done. Take these redstone dust. Dust right here. Dust right here. Feeling good. Looking good. Get rid of these guys right here. And yeah. Go ahead and get rid of these. This is going to be where there's two comparators. We're going to take a nap right now, actually. Let's just finish this off. Bang. This guy here. This guy here. Looks good. So now we're just going to place a solid block, actually, right over here. A solid block. Let's... Uh, let's sleep. You know what? Let's sleep. I'm so used to not having the time on, so uh, we might as well do this. I think this is what messed me up the last time I made this build, was that I slept and it moved the clock. I think it moves the clock. So this, this one's going to reset to 6 o'clock. So let's go back here. So you're going to see what we're doing here is actually going to bring our thing up like this. So, so get rid of this and this. Go ahead and take your slab half slab right here with dust solid block on top of that guy sticky piston facing up with a redstone block on it and a solid block on that once we've done this you can see that we're feeling good about that let's go ahead and grab a regular piston i'm pretty sure it's a regular piston let's go like this perfect i'm just gonna go make sure but i'm pretty sure yeah regular piston so once this guy's done like this, we can feel good that we're going to start carrying this guy over. So let's do it like this. This guy here. This guy here. This guy here. This guy here. This guy's going to go up, which brings this guy here. I'm just doing a double check over there. Bang. Let's do this. This and this once we've done this stuff feel good about it let's go ahead and grab a redstone dust right there redstone repeater we're going to make sure that it's facing this way right here four ticks go ahead and grab your redstone torch right here as well bang done done and done redstone dust right there so you can see this pretty much kicks off the flashing it kicks off the flashing which is kind of a thing for us so we wanted to do this. Let's go ahead and put one more redstone dust right here because this is going to keep our actual. And now you can see the clock is actually moving. So once this this comes into play, you can see it's moving. So let's go ahead and fill up our hopper. So our hopper is going to have 64 and 61. So 64 and 61. right here let's go back to the back of the house here 64 and 61 done done and done so now you're gonna see it's gonna keep going but we're gonna start this over by sleeping once we sleep everything should reset back to where it needs to go and let's go over here so hopefully this is a functional clock at the moment i feel like it is i feel like maybe this guy right here is setting it in place. So what we're going to do is use a button. We're going to add a button here to adjust it so that we can make it wrong and then reset it if you get what I'm saying. So let's bring this guy down here. One, two, three, four, five. So 
bust this guy out right here, this guy here. So basically, you can make this as long as you want, as long as this last torch is out. When you do it, let's grab your button right here. And this is going to basically allow you to adjust the clock by one. So the reason that we're going to make an error here is actually because this right here is a regular piston. So all we got to do is actually put a regular piston here. So that was what was breaking it right there. I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident that that's what was breaking it right there. Yep. So now let's go over here and let's sleep. Man, too many reared pistons in this. Let's do this and then let's sleep. And then we should see both of them are going to cycle all the way back to 6 a.m. And then stop. How awesome is that, guys? So awesome. So make sure that this guy right here, guys, is a regular piston and not a sticky piston. That was the error. And uh, yeah, don't forget to smash that like before you go. Don't forget as well to subscribe to my channel for uh, cool tutorials, let's plays, and stuff. Thanks a lot for tuning in, guys. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one.